Welcome back. Now the Islamic State threats against Australian landmarks, including Bondi Beach, the Opera House and the MCG. The terror warnings have been published in a new English-language IS magazine and urged readers to carry out lone wolf attacks that also included the SCG in Bankstown in Sydney and Melbourne suburbs Brunswick and Broadmeadows. It's very worrying news. We do take it very seriously. We take terrorism very seriously. In chilling detail, this is Islamic State's latest threat issued on Australia. A terrifying and specific call to carry out acts of terror in our suburbs, at our beaches and major sporting precincts. But they're targeting, in particular, um, Muslim Australians uh, who might be vulnerable to doing something rash and stupid. Tonight, lone wolf attackers are being urged by the deadly extremists to kill Australians in public acts of terror. Kill them on the streets of Brunswick, Broadmeadows, Bankstown and Bondi. Kill them at the MCG, the SCG, the Opera House and even in their backyards. It's deeply disturbing because it's so concrete and so specific. It, it's targeted at people living in Australia, at Australians, in places that are familiar to them. Professor Greg Barton is a counter-terrorism expert from Melbourne's Deakin University. He says it's the first time Islamic State has named our suburbs as potential terror locations. And it's no surprise which ones have been singled out. When they talk about Bankstown and uh, Broadmeadows, they're conscious of the fact they're speaking to kids living in those suburbs and, and trying to encourage them to try and do something. The article, entitled Among the Believers Are Men, describes ways lone wolves should carry out their terror in a directive eerily reminiscent of the recent attacks in Nice. Stab them, shoot them, poison them and run them down with your vehicles. In France, in uh, late 2014, we saw a series of attacks with small vans and cars uh, that, that were disturbing but were, were small-scale. Nice, of course, was absolutely uh, chilling. It also pays tribute to Melbourne terrorist Ezit Rad. An alleged terrorist cell planned a grand final day massacre. In, in 2005, he was convicted over a plot to blow up the MCG, but somehow the man described as a major terrorist recruiter managed to leave the country on a fake passport. The magazine claims Rad has since been killed fighting in the Syrian city of Aleppo. They only have to succeed once and they're betting on the fact that somebody will read this and try something. In just a few days, up to 80,000 footy fans will pack the MCG for the start of the AFL final series. And while Victoria's top cop called for calm today, he said more police will be on hand if they're needed. We have an increased uh, police presence anyway at footy finals and we'll certainly be continuing with that. And if we need to beef up that presence, uh, then we will. But Chief Commissioner Graham Ashton says recent attempts to upgrade the iconic stadium's security are under review. Toy police don't feel that that ring of steel, that fence, adds any value. And while the news has fuelled uncertainty in some... I take them seriously, certainly, of course, it can happen at any time. Most won't let this latest threat ruin a weekend at the football. I'll be still going to the games, even if they're going to make threats or not. The sentiment is similar in Bondi. Threats are there and it's always going to be there, but I mean, we should still live our lives and keep doing so. We are taking it seriously and our counterterrorism strike team uh, are doing that analysis around it. We're talking to the intelligence agencies globally about it. So if there's anything that comes up, we'll deal with it quickly. Police urge anyone with information to always come forward, no matter how small or insignificant you may think that may be. You can call the National Security Hotline. The number is on your screen now, 1800 123 400. That's 1800 123 400.